my friends. I'm sorry. Desi was very excited to show me something. So I had to go and take care of that. Um, but anyway, so back to what we were talking about. We're just going to go down the line. Um, here is the other lavender candle. Like I said, guys, if you like scents that are a little bit more um, cologne-like, um, like I said, I, I normally re will refer to these as a masculine scent, but they really are unisex. But you guys know what I mean. Like, it's a scent that if it was a, a perfume or a cologne, both, you know, anybody could wear it. Mm. It's so good. Like I said, there's a sweetness and a... The, oh. If you get a chance, and like I said, and you like those types of scents that are kind of on the cologne-like side, give this a whirl. I think you will love it. The dried lavender and oak. My best friend who does not like um, florals at all liked the lavender oak. I got her into that one. So if you're afraid that, you know, oh, it might be a little too floral, y your girl's got you. Your girl's got you. So next, this one I got purely out of nostalgia. Um, growing up, this was my mother's favorite. And at the time I was like, why would you burn that when they have Macintosh and Midsummer's Dream? Like, as a kid I had my favorite candles. Um, but my mother really liked this one and I had to pick it up because I was like, you know what? I don't remember hating that scent. Like, I remember thinking as a child that there was other scents I liked better, but I had to grab it and I'm not disappointed. This was Sage and Citrus. It's been out for a long time. Like, I remember when we would do fundraisers, um, we would sometimes get a Yankee Candle fundraiser and my mom would normally get this one. Occasionally she'd get the Macintosh because like I would beg her to, but this was her go-to for the most part. And this is going to sound odd, but this reminds me of my grandfather a little bit. Same with the Lavender Oak. There's that, I don't know what was in his cologne that he wore, but both of these have an underlying tone that's very similar. I wonder if there's bergamot in it because I have like this attraction to bergamot. It might, I don't know, because Yankee Candles... I know there are like nine scents that are layered in their candles, but they never tell you what they are. Mm. It's just amazing. Again, it's kind of on the cologne side a little bit. The citrus is the sweetness in the background, but you get mostly the sage. And I love it. And I, like I said, I didn't want to get one of these for a very long time and now I'm like why I guess maybe my scents have changed like I used to be all about like chocolate scents and stuff like that but I'm getting into more of this kind of thing as I get older I don't know like I guess it's a more mature scent you know what I'm saying although your girl still wears Eva Lejeu so like that won't change next I had to I absolutely had to and I my mom got one of these too and it does smell very nice not what I had anticipated though, but I digress. So I just thought it was cool that they had a candle like this because I have never ever seen a company do this particular scent before. But it is, and honestly, the, the floral on here is not what it's supposed to be. It is Edelweiss. Some of you may know that word from Sound of Music. Edelweiss is a, um, mountain flower in Germany. So I was really excited to see that they had a candle after that flower. Um, as you know, my mother's side is German, so the Edelweiss has, um, there's a lot of, you know, um, memories and, you know, um, I don't want to say traditions. Well, maybe it's like traditions associated with the Edelweiss. So I had to grab one. Now I'll tell you, this is very floral, so if you aren't a fan of florals, this isn't going to be for you, but if you do enjoy florals, this is a very much a lily of the valley. Now, I haven't um, seen a live Edelweiss in years, over 20 years. I was a young child when my mom was growing them, and I do not remember what they actually smell like. But this smells to me like a lily of the valley. So I don't 
I couldn't tell you if this was authentic Edelweiss. Uh, I'll tell you it smells like Lily of the Valley. And the flowers on the front are not Edelweiss. At least they don't look like it to me. In my experience with them. But I like it though. It smells very pretty. And I will be bringing this towards the spring. I don't know. Love it. Um, next we got a few little votives. I have this Mediterranean Breeze, which is the closest to a candle that I've been looking for for years. And I don't know the name of the company. All I know is the name of the candle was Waterfall. And now you see a lot of Waterfall scent candles. This one was very distinct. It had this beautiful, like, I can't. It, it wasn't... Most Waterfall candles are florally. This one wasn't. It was very clean. And this is as close to that candle as I've ever found. And I love it. And that's Mediterranean Breeze. And then I have a tiny Midsummer's Night. There's another one. I think it's called Midsummer Morning. There's another one that's close to this. That I really like as well. I only bought Midsummer's Night in the Voda. Because they didn't have it in an actual candle. It had been sold out. So I got this to give me my fix. And I actually bought a big candle. Because of how much I love this one. And I get these when they're a dollar. Next... This is definitely a fall scent because I was looking for this candle on their website and all they have is like um, clearance, um, like car fresheners. I got this at TJ Maxx for six bucks. This is called Enchanted Moon. Holy cow, am I obsessed. It's just got this really nice depth to it. It's got a sweetness. It's, a, it's like... I, do you see a pattern here with me? It's got this sweetness in the background. But it's got like kind of like a musky, kind of like the lavender oak or the sage and citrus. There's this depth to it that just makes it more mature. And it's beautiful. I will be on the hunt for this candle in the future and I hope that this candle is not going to be something that discontinued. I hope it's just a seasonal thing. Because I definitely need more of it. It's just gorgeous. Like I said, I found this at TJ Maxx. I almost didn't get it, but it was like six bucks. I'm like, you know what? You know what they're worth. Just just grab it. It's a good deal. And then when I went to the website to try to find them on the actual Yankee Candle website, um, they were already gone. But it is a great scent, and I recommend it. This is my backup um, Fresh Cut Roses. Again, I love it when my room smells like roses. I love it. And then the last of my Yankee Candle is the Large Mediterranean Breeze. I did get the big one. It was only available in this tumbler style. As you can tell, I like the jar style. It's just got this beautiful, clean scent. Like, you could smell the water. Isn't that weird? It's just amazing. If you like clean scents, this is definitely one for you. So the next one I have to show you is, this is by um, Victoria's Secret's Pink Collection. This is the Fresh and Clean. I love the Fresh and Clean Body Mist. And when I saw this, they were on sale for five bucks. So I grabbed a couple. And I'll be honest with you guys, don't waste your time with these candles. Um, there's no throw on it. It smells great when you get your face in it. But I lit it and I had it here in my bedroom. And... Like, I could be in my bedroom and not smell it. I would leave for a while, come back to see if I could smell it. No, you had to be, like, right on top of the candle to smell it. Once it burns down and you got this beautiful pink glow, that's really pretty. So if you don't mind it not having a big throw, then that's fine. You'll be happy. But um, I will not be buying their candles again. Like, And it's a shame. Like, the only thing I'll be buying for Victoria's Secret is the uh, Honey Scrub. I've like done with them with all their other products. I'm just so over them. Um, these are some of my lid for my Yankees. This is a grape one. This one needs to be cleaned. This one's a nautical seashell thing, but you can see there's soot on it. It's designed for that to catch the soot, but I haven't had a chance to clean this one yet. I just used this with the limoncello. Um, but I gotta, I'm gonna put that to the side because that needs to get taken care of. Um, next are my Bath and Body Works. Now, one isn't here. It's in the bathroom. It's the Lemon Tea Leaf. That's very, very nice. I love it. It's like, it reminds me of the spa, which is why I keep it in the bathroom. Um, so whenever I take a bath, I burn that one. 
I think I'm going to time to talk about one more candle before we go to the next part. Um, so this I got at one of the semi-annual sales. Not this past one because I didn't make it. So the previous one. So last year's one around Christmas time. And this is the Twisted Peppermint. These are the ones that they use in front of the wallflowers for you to smell to get an idea of what the wallflower will smell like. Mmm. And I always love going to the semi-annual sales to score these guys. Because normally you can get these for a couple of bucks. I think I pay $2 for this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. And it's my favorite scent. The fact that I was able to find the Twisted Peppermint at all was amazing. Because it's normally very hard to find at the semi-annual sale. So, scored that little guy. Um, we're going to get into the rest of these in a minute. Because we are running out of time again, guys. So I will be right back. 